keep going. Demons? Demons? That's unreachable from here. That's reachable from here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Shit. Move too much. Okay, now with less stupidity. so much ah. thirty seven I definitely missed something. Give me a second. And the first there, right? No, I can't go back through here. Yes, I can. Whoa! Forty. Okay, I need to go back. That's not possible. That's it? Okay. Rune upgrade, ammo boost 2. Oh, it's still counting. 46. Who are you? What 
the hell did I find here? What are my challenges, by the way? Four Necker Jawbreaker Glow Kills on the Imp from behind. Find three secrets, kill 15 demons with quad damage. You do not scare me, you fidgety, slimy demon. Wait, ammo. Thank you. Ow! Revenant. The MLRB implant operation is conducted with the patient in an anti-mortem state and without anesthesia. As it is imperative, the patient develops neural recognition of the augments before expiration. Once the neural connection with the implants has been established, the patient is repeatedly exposed to Lazarus wave blast to induce death and transform the subject into a Revenant. As with health soldiers, Revenants exhibit advanced combat tactics that include range control, vertical combat governance, and rush tactics. I have weapon tokens. Nothing here costs three. Improved venting. Yes. Huh. Micro missiles. Let's do my comments. A multi-chambered cylinder located under the primary barrel can be loaded with up to six HMX missiles. These small but deadly rockets were designed to deliver multiple payloads to a single target, but can also be used to subdue multiple targets within a tight kill zone. The missiles will detonate shortly after making contact with any surface. Like all missiles. I'll consider it after I finish this. Right now, I'm very low on ammo. Oh, there's an armor somewhere over there. Which I'm supposed to reach now by stepping outside and walking around. Excellent. Okay, let me just map that area over there. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay, your facility is a mess, people. Why do you have to build so high? the point? Except making me fall to my death. Uh, 
Hello, bitch. Oh, that's an Argent accumulator she's carrying. She'll try to use it to open a portal manually into hell. While the Argent Tower is non-functional, the connection to their dimension is still viable. We are at great risk, Dr. Hayden. She left. Super shot. In case I missed. Hello, and welcome to the UAC, home of the patented Argent Energy Filtration System shut developed up. by Dr. Olivia Pierce. We are the only corporation with this technology, able to convert pure hell energy into clean, controllable Argent energy. It powers this facility and is broadcast throughout the universe from Argent Tower. Providing all the energy a family needs to live a fun and productive life on Earth and the surrounding colonies. But we can't do it alone. It takes a team to make it happen. A team of people full of energy. Potential energy. Unleash your potential with the UAC. Thank you for your interest in Argent Energy. That's the one. God damn it. God damn it. God, where are you running to? Finally. Now, what were you saying? I don't need a med lab. Uh, environments. The Argent Energy Tower, completed in 2127 based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team. The Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's crowning achievement. This unparalleled piece of technology is born of the synergy achieved when radical, forward-thinking UAC science is charged with the raw power of Argent Plasma. Unprecedented in scale, the tower's primary purpose is to harness Argent Plasma from the fracture, convert it to usable Argent Energy, and beam Argent packages to Earth's GEDM, Global Energy Distribution Metrics. It is based off a Gauss cannon design, first prototype in the late 20th century, although details regarding the inner workings of the tower are a closely guarded secret. The concept of using a Gauss cannon design to launch energy packets had not even been theorized prior to the discovery of the fracture. But the technology developed at a miraculous rate soon after. The phenomenal growth of this new tech has led to some speculation that the Argent Tower is actually based off a design discovered in the artifacts that were found dispersed around the site of the fracture. Summoner. Unwilling. Not the possessed, unwilling. Summoner. 
The summoner, a cunning adversary, is primarily a defensive summoning unit as the demon horde swarms the enemy. The summoner sustains the battle by opening a rift to hell and calling forth reinforcements. To prevent being overrun by the relentless horde, the summoner could, should become a primary target at any battle strategy. When directly challenged in combat, the summoner is capable of channeling hell energy into an urgent wave. Although this wave kills most humans, an occasional victim will be transformed into the possessed. Surviving an urgent wave attack is extremely unlikely, but does not appear to be random. There is evidence that the summoner selects the most resilient of combatants for induction to the army of hell. Quad damage. Once ingested, the subject effectively becomes a host for what was presumed to be the most powerful of Ulfrank's demons. Any weapon held by the subject is enhanced, giving it up to four times as much projectile force and ballistic power. Though the effects are short-lived, they can be devastating. During the initial testing phase, patient C-132, a volunteer tier 2 advocate, managed to decapitate three security personnel using nothing more than a pocket knife. <laughs> Why would you subject security personnel to this? I missed something. Time to replace our steps! Completed in 2127, based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team. The Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Tower. Okay, so I was here. And if I were to go here and down. Yeah, that's where a thing is. How do I get to the thing? Searching high and low, complete. Still need to kill demons with core damage and two more chiropractors. Okay. Go back here. Back here. Now what do I do? Okay. Got it. You shut up. I don't even remember where I picked up core damage. Yeah, rip and tear. Scale the tower. Reload my ammunition. Oh really? Sure. coming uh, decrease weapon self damage no. med kit toy Argent energy. Argent energy is produced by neutron activation of argent plasma, a new and powerful substance that was discovered on Mars. This produces an exothermic reaction where recorded temperatures within the plasma have exceeded previously accepted theoretical limits. Though a process not yet fully understood, argent plasma remains stable and self-contained throughout. Conventional nuclear power is obsolete. What used to take a nuclear reactor 12 months to produce can be generated in a few seconds by the argent tower 
and packaged into an argent accumulator no larger than Samuel Hayden's hand. Argent plasma was originally discovered by the SS Amundsen when it landed in the Promethe Terra region of Mars in 2095 as part of the UAC Geological Survey mission Frontier. While searching for liquid water springs, the survey bot discovered a narrow trench which has now become known as the Argent Fracture. The fracture emitted a substance that at first appeared to be electrical gas cloud. However, deeper analysis of the substance shows it to be an entirely new form of matter with a quantum signature never before recorded. Initial tests on this new matter immediately showed its potential. When a 2 megakelvin cutting laser was fired at the substance, it absorbed the heat with ease and remained self-contained. The second expedition was planned to further analyze the remarkable new Argent Plasma. There has been speculation that the development of Argent energy goes beyond traditional science and bleeds into the realm of SEFT, Spiritual Energy Field Theory. Experiments in this fringe science have been heavily criticized in the past as the development often involves occult-like practices and the channeling of resources from poorly understood extra-dimensional resources. That's repetitive. Coupled with the reports of cultish practices within the UAC, there are deep concerns over how Argent energy is being produced and if it is indeed safe. The UAC has refused to reveal the details despite repeated requests by the Global Science Council, despite concern over the safety of producing energy with a process that is not fully understood, the need for a reliable energy source since the depletion of plutonium and uranium reserves is a powerful argument. And the UAC unveiled an Argent Energy powered hand sized 24 volt battery with over 12,000 megawatt hours. The future of energy supply within the solar system was set. One battery array could power an entire city block for several months. Researchers at the Global Science Council have speculated that the UAC's most advanced battery technology, the Argent Accumulator, can hold over 30,000 megawatt hours, but that the UAC is deliberately bottlenecking the production to maintain control over the market value. The UAC has no comment on this matter. Okay, I can't go through there because it's blocked. This is how it's blocked. But somewhere over there is the toy. That doesn't work. Still too low. Nah. How do I get up there? Maybe so there. Oh. That's a rocket launcher. How do I go back? fast. Yeah, now I have to go through there. Whee! Which one was it? Orange guy. <laughs> okay, fine, load up. Uh, tickets confirmed. 
Okay, drop down. Hello. Hi. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Ow. Ow. Oh, not again. I blew myself up. Let's do it like this. Yeah, points available, nothing to use them on. Shut up. Demon presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. What damage? What is everyone? That was ten. Keep following me. Damn it. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. Oh, cool. Supposed to do something with this?
Do I need to follow this? Yeah, I think I do. The rest of the level is up. energy signature indicates that it is nearing the top of this Argent facility. If she ruptures that accumulator near the Argent beam, she could open a portal to their world that we will never be able to close. Hi, I'm working on it. Your building design sucks ass. Safe levels. Lockdown. Lockdown. God damn it. Invulnerability. When it is absorbed, the stimulant diffuses argent plasma to the basal layer below the dermis, creating a tough film of bioplasma beneath the skin that protects the user from external attacks. This can make the demon almost entirely invulnerable until the plasma has been dissipated through repeated punishment. The bioplasma comes into direct contact with the nerve cells beneath the skin, which causes excruciating pain throughout the process. This increases the likelihood that in the throes of agonizing torment, the mindless demon will try to attack targets that are clearly beyond their ability. Mancabus. The Mancubus is a lumbering behemoth demon. A foul odor accompanies its presence, a stench that can be overwhelming if inhaled directly. Mancubi gorge on anything they can find and are not averse to eating rancid flesh. Their diet rots in their digestive system, making their innards highly flammable. These foul creatures are decked in light armor when they reach maturity, but their grotesque frame soon outgrows the armor, exposing their stomach and face. Ugh. Uh, weapon upgrades? Working on it. Micro-missiles. Yeah, uh, heat blast. Extended threshold. This is too much. Too much. Too much. Come on, jump up. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. Oh, 
that was a lot of demons. you okay there's something on the other edge that's an urgent cell That's where I need to go. I think that's a hidden area. The road to hell is paved by Argent Energy. No, you didn't just say that. So much. Before I do that, there's got to be something here. I need to find the lever. back down Okay, so how do you open the locked door? Get them. 
Now the open, the urgent, urgent facility. Now, urgent energy tower. Uh, urgent energy tower. Uh, hailing the tower, auto map, data log, quad damage, elite guard, data log, collectible, scroll down, mancubus, quad damage, mancubus, uh, lifts, pick the lift, jump up the lift. That doesn't... Oh, damn it. I missed a lot. We have mobility power up. Look to who marked on the radar once the battle ends. Yeah, I found the urgent cell. Uh, special drones. Okay, one pair of robots will be just behind the glass, another slightly on the other side of the map. Go to the second pair, jump on one of the machines, it will take you to the liver. Okay. The road to hell is paved by Argent Energy. Activate drones. Here. Ah! No, no, shit, shit, climb! Climb! Okay. <clears throat> yes! Take me down. Now I need you to clear the way so I can go into the classic map. Damn it, my dog wants to let me let out. Really? Nothing more than that? Rockets? No enemies? Oh well. Yeah, I missed one. God damn it. Union Aerospace Corporation. Um... 
Ah. Ow. The road to hell is paved yeah. by Argent Energy. No loading. Uh, okay. No overflow. That damn you. me off. Uh, moving geometry. Thank you. Now I just need to get the quad damage. Huh. How do I get that? Oh my god. Uh. Oh, it takes me up. Then what? Maybe I'll have to see about that.
Excuse me, what? How am I supposed to get there? The elevator's locked. Specialist. What the hell does that mean? Where's my earned mastery for weapon mod? Okay, so I got the mastery. Lovely. There's another rune trial over there. Somehow I need to get there. Twelve seconds. Uh, eliminate ten unwilling and plus barrel damage before the timer expires. Increase effectiveness of equipment cutting. Hmm. I'm doing this for the fun. For the lulz. I have low health. God damn it, okay. Let's try and focus a bit more. Ow. Ta-da! <clears throat> oh! So I got an ammo boost, which I'm working on. Equipment power. Stick with vacuum.
Okay. Is there any way to get there? Is there any reason to get there? Hmm. So I'm going here, there's the elite guard, and what was that? That's a power up? something that I missed. Ah. Mega health. This stimulant is the first and so far only successful fusion of UAC technology and the arcane science behind Argent stimulants. When consumed, it bestows additional stamina and endurance on the user, effectively giving them more life. This effect is achieved by first vaporizing, then ionizing an adrenaline solution, which is then injected into a demagnetized Argent stimulant, as the resulting concoction is extremely volatile, the product must be absorbed immediately to avoid combustion. It is notable that this stimulant can be administered to humans successfully, although it does shorten overall lifespan significantly. Attempts to administer the solution to demons have proved unsuccessful. The demon suffers agonizing death moments after ingestion. Uh, weapon mods. Fast recovery. Fast recovery. Oh. Or threshold, or uranium coating, or instant reload. Give me that. Holding the weapon mod to lock now supports up to three targets. Focus will be divided amongst established locks. Kill five summoners using the lock on burst. Okay. On summoners. Got it. You cannot stop me from claiming what I have owned! What I was promised! Nice knowing you. Welcome to the UAC, opening the gates of hell with the key to the future. Not very encouraging. The blood also isn't very encouraging. This is not the end! Oh, I imagine it isn't. It's Well, I made it to the checkpoint. Oh, 
for a three-dimensional event in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, I was busy. Into the unknown. Yeah, I missed a few secrets. And I'm gonna stop now. Because my dog needs to be let out. He's stressed. Okay. That was fun. More of this later today, maybe? We'll see. In any case, stay good, have fun.